Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. It is a dark day and as a result my house is a cave, but that's okay, we're still gonna film. <laughs> Today, I'm finishing up preparations for Easter, and I wanted to show you guys Nora's Easter basket. This is mostly just stuff that either we already had or she needed in the next couple of months anyway. So I figured I'd just put it in a basket, and they happen to be bunny themed. So this is a bunny that I actually made. I made these maybe two years ago at this point. It's really cute, and this is by Bond Patterns. It's the, there's a bunch of cute little animals, and I have all of the patterns. I just haven't made anything besides the bunnies. I made like three or four of these, and sent a few to friends who were having kids. And it has outfits, but it's currently naked. When Adam and Nicole were here, Nicole picked this up for, um, for Nora's Easter basket, which is just a little soft book, a little, carrot this adorable swimsuit there's also bottoms but this is the top it's so cute i see a lot of parents put swimsuits in their kids easter baskets oh and by the way the basket is this little woven one it's from marshall's i think it was like 12 bucks a little sun hat this is from target this is um what is the really cute oh cat and jack i think i love their stuff this is so cute we're going on a beach trip uh later in april so it's gonna be perfect. Little clips because my daughter has a lot of hair. And then this cute little waffle knit two piece. And then I just stuffed some paper down in the bottom to just lift everything up. And I was planning on putting some eggs in the front. She obviously is not gonna understand anything of this. Like, She's nine months old, she has not a clue, but I thought it would just be cute to put something together and I did not go overboard, at least in my opinion. Um, again, all of these things were stuff that we already needed to buy for upcoming trips and just regular necessity. Um, but anyway, today I am doing something that is also completely unnecessary. Hey, stop it. Today I'm also doing something that's completely unnecessary, which is making a bunny bonnet for Easter coming up from this. I have the little ears and I figured that I could just put together two um, patterns and then have a bunny bonnet. We're currently getting fiber internet installed and they're here to dig the line which is so exciting. And while I was out there, I saw that I have this box from Factor. Freaking love Factor. <laughs> They're sponsoring my main channel. I'm going to just quickly unpack this so that it stays fresh. Okay, also in the mail, ooh. <laughs> we have a helicopter from my maple tree. It's dropping them now, which I think means that spring is like officially here. Oh, we also have wellness shots. Ooh, yum. So in the mail, my parents sent me my birthday present. Apparently this is half of it. Um, but look at how beautiful. It's a ceramic tumbler, which I love ceramic wear like this. I like pottery like this, and it's just so cool that I have a cup now. And honestly, like now that I've done pottery, this is just so impressive to be able to pull the walls this high. Like, I'm just imagining how hard that was. I don't know, lots of skill, but it has a cute like rainbow desert scene on it and it's so pretty. And I cannot wait to put my sweet tea in this. This summer, it also has the top. Also to be able to get it to be the exact right size for this top, very impressive. I am going to use this earpiece to attach to a separate bonnet pattern that I have because I could have bought a bunny bonnet pattern, but I have a bonnet pattern and I have a bunny ear. I also have this perfect blush pink that I use for the inside of the ears. Now that I've gathered all my materials, I'm going to print out the bonnet pattern and then start putting things together. It took me forever to find this stupid tape. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Normally I use masking tape for this, like 
but sorry, not masking tape, but like packing tape so that I can just do a big swath of tape across here. But alas, I don't think we have any. I think we ran out. So I have to use this regular tape for gift wrapping. I have also just started a new book. It is called The Heartless Hunter. It's about a woman who is a witch but can't be known that she's a witch and it's an enemies to lovers and that's about all I know right now. I do not remember where I first heard about this book. I really wish that I wrote down where I heard about a book so that I could like have more context in my brain as to what it could be about. But anyway, I just decided to go in on it. Okay, so our first step is going to be sewing the ears. So I have my white and pink two sets of them and I kind of altered the pattern to be a little bit longer. I'm just going to sew them right sides together and then flip them inside out and press them. Also, normally when I make these bunnies, I will cut out everything with pinking shears, which is basically the zigzag scissors. And that is just so that I can have the smallest seam allowance possible without having it fray. I am, however, going to zigzag it so that it doesn't come apart. Okay, so now that I've done the outer bit, I need to now do the lining, which is actually the exact same thing as this, except of course there's no ears. So I'm gonna go make that real quick and then we'll sew it together. Okay, so I've sewn the lining. Now I pinned them together, wrong sides facing, so that both right sides are out, so that all of the seams are on the insides and I pinned the front together and I'm just going to do like a, just a, a quick stitch around here. I'm gonna increase my stitch length, not too much, but just a little bit because it's just a basting stitch. It doesn't need to be super secure. And then I'll need to trim it up to make sure everything's all the same length back here and lining up. It's now time for bias tape which is one of the things in sewing that makes me the most nervous. <laughs> but we are going to get through this. It's gonna be fine. We can do it. So basically what needs to be done is um, there's a bias tape for the bottom and then there is a bias tape for the top. And the top bias tape is meant to be a little bit too long so that it can have 
little ties. Okay, so I have finished. Her little bunny bonnet is complete. Um, the bias tape went pretty well, although I have it going in different directions for both of the bias tape spots. So this is the outside for this top part. I have it folded under. And then for the bottom part, I have it folded over. It's not a big deal. No one will ever notice it but i will notice it but it's just one of those little details it's like your mom made this you know i also wanted to quickly show you guys her dress for easter it is so cute we got this at marshall's and it has the sweetest fabric and little collar and i think that this is just going to be such a perfect little addition the dress came with little bunny ears but it's like a headband and it doesn't really fit her very well so hopefully this will be a good alternative thank you guys so much for watching this video and i will see you guys next sunday bye